Why does the Doctrine and Covenants begin with the word hearken? I suggest that there's a covenantal purpose for beginning this book of modern day restoration scripture with the word hearken. Now, what's, what's significant is that in the word hearken, we have the word hear, to listen. God's asking us to open our ears to him and to hear the words that invite us onto the covenant path. What I'd like to encourage you to do is to turn to Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. And throughout the ancient Israelite history and religion, this is one of the most significant verses in the Israelite faith. It's called the Shema. In fact, you might notice that uh, many Jews have on their door a little symbol. It looks like a W. It's actually the uh, Greek, sorry, the Hebrew letter that begins the word Shema. Actually, it's the SH sound. And it's a reminder to them of this call that God gave to the Israelites through Moses to hear him. And it's very interesting that just as God did to the Israelites, as he said to them, hear him, in the opening of the restoration of all things, God once again says, hear him. And let's listen in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4, what God tells the Israelites. And later the Israelites symbolize that call to listen on their doors. And as they enter and leave, they often will touch that symbol as a reminder of the prayer that they should always remember God. Deuteronomy 6 verse 4 says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And then the next verse, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. What's significant is that when God asks us to hear him, it's so that we can better know how to love him. And as we've talked in past lessons, the covenant path is all about God wanting to be joined with us in a covenant relationship of love, of faith, and of loyalty. And we have to first hear God and to know his commandments, which are the covenantal instructions. So significantly, when we open the Doctrine and Covenants, section one, God is asking us to hear so that we might know how to be on the covenant path. And if we might look carefully, we can see specifically, even in DNC section 1, what does God tell the people? What is he telling us in the modern day? Verse 21 and 22, why does he reveal these things? That faith also might increase in the earth, that mine everlasting covenant might be established. God asks us to hearken to his word so we might know how to follow on the covenant path that the eternal and everlasting covenant that he first offered to our forefathers and foremothers, Abraham and Sarah, is now available to us if we will but follow the words that he has revealed through modern living prophets. So as you embark on this new year of study in the Doctrine and Covenants, I invite you to take seriously the first word in the entire Doctrine and Covenants, which is to hearken, to open your ear, to be on the covenant path. God has brought forth modern day prophets so we might hear and know God's word. We have modern day prophets since the time of Joseph Smith. We've had an unbroken line of prophetic succession. Those who've been called by God to deliver his word to us so that we can hear and know how to be on the covenant path. And like the ancient Israelites, we can learn to love the Lord thy God. Thank you.